and welcome to the first in a series of Great Water Sussy <laughs> Sausage Fest. My name's Richard Bennett. I'd like to warn you before we start that this show is essentially a never-ending string of bad jokes and cliches. So if there's anything else you're intending on watching tonight, I suggest you turn over now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now for the rest of you who've got nothing better to do with their evenings, it gives me great pleasure to introduce my team captains. <laughs> On my right, team one is rock and or roll star John A. Murray. Johnny is the lead guitarist of pop punk soul indie smash debate the city wicked band masturbate the city. <laughs> On my left, Captain in Team Two, is Manel El Sire. Manel is best known for being the dubious love child of Mark Boland. <laughs> joining my captains tonight on Johnny's team. Joining Johnny is Greg Whiteman. Greg is. Posing as the E4 voiceover man. Also joining Johnny tonight is Sarah Gurr. Sarah is essentially a dolphin breeding and acupuncture. Joining me now tonight is Callum Linnell. Callum is famous for being a film star in productions on YouTube and I should imagine very soon Facebook. <laughs> also joining me now tonight is G Man. G Man is what can only be described as a bad mama jammer whose mum's in the slammer. Pow, pow. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now you've met our teams, let's begin. With the first round is a true or false round. Basically, what the round consists of is I ask each team a phrase or question, they have to decide whether it's true or false. And we shall start with Manel's team. Manel's team, are you ready? <laughs> Question number one. True or false? Alfred Hitchcock, the great filmmaker he was, did not have a belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true or false one? Did you didn't hear them. Well, he could have not. I, well, the, um, the belly button. Isn't that not where the umbilical cord <laughs> <laughs> The phrase is. That's false. Yeah, that's how you get all this stuff when you're in the. Are we going with true or are we going with false, guys? Come when on. You're in the uh, what's the question? The, cl the question was, Alfred Hitchcock did not have a belly button. True it's or false? false? It's false. 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 You're going with yeah. false. Yeah. false. The correct answer to question number one from Manel's team is in fact true. Alfred Hitchcock did not. Have a belly button, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's a big shot. Right. Question no. number one for Johnny's team. Are you ready, Johnny's team? Are we ready, Johnny's team? That's us. Come on, Johnny's Very team. Ready, apparently. A smoker <laughs> who smokes a pack a day will lose approximately two teeth every ten years. True or false? I think it's true. It's got to be one of the two. Why? Because it affects your gums, don't it? All the tar and all this. It's not that much. Not they, they put I love the way that this is going really, really you, well. It does affect so your teeth. It affects everything else, but it doesn't make them fall out. Right, well, I'll, I'll go with my team. I have faith in my team. What are we saying? <laughs> what are we going for, guys? <laughs> Apparently, we're going for false. We're going for false. That's our final answer. The correct answer for question number one for Johnny's team is, in fact, 
True. A pack a day smoker will lose approximately two teeth every two every ten years. Sorry. Question number two. That's why you're failing. For Manel's team. Are you ready, Manel's team, for question number two? Question number two. The second question your team has received ever on this show. The first one, you got the information from Wikipedia. I didn't get the information from Wikipedia. I got it from a very reliable source. Question number two. When you sneeze, all your bodily functions stop, even your heart. True or false? I've heard this. I've yeah. heard it too. This is no way. This is, this is true. true because that would mean that you like poo yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going into that. Surely, if your bodily functions stop, <laughs> you wouldn't poo yeah. yourself. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Okay, so I think we're true. It's true. I've heard something like that before. I'm sure it's true. Yeah. I'm sure it's true. It. I'm going to say true. It's Manel's call. Who's your team captain? Manel, come on, two. Well, we've got two Think people saying two. Manel. Come on, Manel. Think about true. We've got the last. Manel, you don't have to long these sort of things out. Come no, on. No, we shouldn't. I think it's true. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, yeah, I'll go with true, but this time, if they get it wrong again, I'm not listening to them ever. You go with true. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer for question number two is, in fact, true. When you sneeze, all bodily functions stop, even your heart. So if you have a sneezing fit, you're knackered. Question number two for Johnny's team. Are you ready, guys? Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop whoop! One, two, three. I'm bored now. <laughs> True or false? In ancient Egypt, cats were beaten and sometimes even raped. True or false? false? No, no. Well, they worship cats. Yeah, but it was against the law to kill a cat. Sometimes a cat might have got out of order. Is it possible? The question was, in fact, in ancient Egypt, cats were beaten and sometimes even raped. True or false? I think that's false. That's false. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, so you get weirdos in this day and age who do go out and do stuff like that. In you general! Like that. Egypt, you know, I'm not saying that one guy was documented to have once raped a cat. I'm saying in general, in ancient Egypt, cats were beaten and sometimes even raped. You're going with false. The correct answer for question number two is in fact. False. Cats were not raped or beaten. They were in fact treated like dogs. Question number three for Manel's team. Question number three. Your feet are in fact bigger in the afternoon than any other time in the day. True or false? False. <laughs> 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 It, it might have Why absorbed it? some of that. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just. Well, I don't know, it? because, well, think of it. Okay. In the afternoon, that's when you rest, afternoon. right? No, no, That's no, when afternoon, you rest. You no, rest you in the afternoon. Say if you rest in the afternoon. You can do anything in the afternoon. Yeah, well, you can, yeah. <laughs> We could go swimming and absorb the water. You could do anything. No, no, because the question probably wouldn't have corresponded to that. Do you know what? I think <laughs> we should actually go <laughs> true. I don't know. I think why. we should go false. I think it's the evening, it's bigger. Ah! I don't think it's going to be I don't know. Yeah, but you could be really specific by like. Actually, what was the question? <laughs> the question was the statement was your feet are bigger in the afternoon oh, false, than though. the rest of the day. True or false? False. False. Are we going yeah, we're going false? Going false. Going false. The correct answer.